Jamel, it's been a while since Canelo has fought somebody with your kind of physical presence and career resume. He's been fighting bigger guys, Golovkin twice, Bivol, Kovalev. Uh, and, and now here you come, coming up from 154 to 168. Has he really been on your radar or did this come what some unexpectedly to you? Well, you know, whenever Canelo first was on my radar, more importantly, um, you know, the fight wasn't possible or never got made. Um, and, you know, it's one of those things where you, you know, you just forget about it, let it go. Then all of a sudden, whoop, it popped back up in your life. And so I, and that's, that's how this, this fight happened for me. Um, and it's, it is, is here. And, um, you just got to tap back into that world of when you wanted this fight that bad and, and what made you want this fight that bad. And, um, it's here and I'm excited for it. So have you been able to effectively remember tangibly in your head? all the reasons you wanted it so badly and, and are they still active motivations for you now? I, of course, you know, um, you know, Canelo is one of the, the, the top dogs in the, in the boxing world right now. You could consider him a, definitely the top five, uh, you know, of accomplishments in the whole sport of boxing. He's been fighting for a really long time. He's the best Mexican fighter to me. Um, and so I, you know, I know what I got to stake in hands, but I, you know, I feel like I I just bring out a different a, a different fighter every time, and so I'm ex I'm ready to to show, you know, my skill set and why I've been doing it. Uh, I turned pro at 17. Uh, he turned pro at you know 15. We both 33 years old. It's all settled in to be the best time. Um, there was an active rumor for a while that he was headed toward fighting your brother, uh, and not you. Uh, how does that filter in, if at all, in your motivation going into the fight? Well, um, I wasn't, I'm more focused on myself. Uh, you know, if he would have taken a fight with my brother, uh, you know, I'll be there supporting my brother, pushing my brother, um, using a hunger that I have within myself to motivate him and to tell him the things that I would, I would do and see. And so, uh, that's not the case right now. And I'm taking those same words of advice and using them for myself. And so will be it. What do you think is at this moment, what do you suspect is Canelo's best weight? I mentioned how he's he's been up to 175. He's been back down, et cetera. Do you think 168 is his best weight? I think 168 is Canelo's best weight uh, off of the fact that, you know, 175, he was to me a lot, lot slower. Um, didn't really see him fight too many. I think Golovkin or some around that 160-ish. I think they fought at 60. I don't really know. Um, but I just think that this is where I feel like his body grown to, to be comfortable with. So you probably know from training now and from sparring in particular, what is the difference between you at 168 and the guy who was champion of the world at 154 pounds? Um what do you suspect are the good elements of this? Could you be perhaps a bigger puncher Saturday night than you've been before? Yeah, I feel like I'm a um I'm I'm I'll, I'm a bigger puncher, of course, at 168 because uh I didn't, you know, I'm, I have more weight on me. I didn't have to drain myself to make the, you know, 154. I feel like I'm at this weight, I just feel that I, I don't think no one at this weight currently right now would probably have the speed that I have and because I'm coming from 154 and losing weight and just being so fast and having a, the punch ratio uh, in the previous fights that I've, I've had and then watching Canelo fight other guys, um, their punch out rate, uh, you know, punch rate is not as, you know, that high. And so picking point, picking shots and, and setting and, and scoring points uh, is important in this fight. And so I have to not just focus on you know, a knockout, I have to focus on, you know, being dominant and, and, and clever the whole 12 rounds. Clever. Um, so what are the most important elements technically for you to focus on to carry you to a victory over Canelo Alvarez? Where does that cleverness have to show up? I, I think my, the cleverness has to be using my speed, using, using uh, different angles and uh, levels of power, um, and 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 just being a dog, standing in in the pocket when I need to, moving when I need to, 
and 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 let my body flow and let let my, just let my hands go uh you know hit and don't get hit type of guy limiting the risk of getting caught with his left hook correct got it all right so if you win you're going to have a bunch of belts uh mm -hmm. and the options in potentially three different divisions uh for choosing the next person whom you want to fight what do you expect your ambitions to be and how can you service them when you win the fight um it, it allowed me to to make you know a laid back business move as far as what i'm gonna do with the belts and calm maneuver uh you know i wish that you know maybe i'll bring organizations together um, because they're going to have to talk about it. They're going to have to figure out and all agree and be on the same page. Um, you know, but it allowed me and my team and everybody to enjoy the victory. And it allowed to see what's next. But I for sure think it'll make me hungry um, because, you know, I'm taking on the challenge. And I'm proving to myself something that that nobody in the world believes right now. And so um, a victory going to just put me at a different pedestal. Thank you so much for your time. And I have one more question before you go. Yeah. Everybody wants to be pound for pound number one. All of you who are congregated at or near the top of the sport. What about yeah. Terrence Crawford? Um, you know, Terrence Crawford is a, is a, is a, a super great fight to make. Uh, we are on the same banner and it, it, it can happen. Um, I feel that uh, if they judge you know, me and Earl Spence, I'm not the same fighter as Earl Spence. And so I think it's, once again, fan, a fan-friendly fight. I bring out the best in other, every other fight, every other opponent. And uh, I just don't think uh, Terrence Crawford can hold up to, you know, my punching power and uh, the things that I do in the ring that's different. And if PBC said he's next, you say, yeah, he's next, right? Of course I said that, yep. Thank you, Jamel. Great pleasure. Thank you. Yes, sir.